Hi everybody, good morning. I hope you're all having a great Monday morning, or well, it'll be later when you see this because it takes a while for it to upload from my end. But I'm doing an unboxing of the Good Dog Tarot deck from uh, Kickstarter, and now it's on Etsy, The Leftovers. So let's open this. And I got my good friend Zero right there on the red roses. You can see his little pumpkin nose. So let's get this box open. Okay. Even the box is sweet looking. Oh, this little booklet came with it with a card. And this little booklet tells you what kind of dog is in each card. The Fool's a Jack Russell Terrier. Australian Shepherd's the, Ma the Magician. Afghan Hound is the High Priestess, and so on. Okay, we got it in a tuck box. Find the answers to all your questions with a good dog tarot deck. A classic tarot deck with an adorable twist. Normally, I will not buy animal decks because I cannot stand to see animals hurt. But this one, I don't think they have any of the pictures like three swords piercing his heart or anything like that. I think they find a different way to handle that. And maybe I can't open this deck. Let's try from this end. Why well, am I having such a hard time? Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. That was a hard one. I opened it and I didn't rip the tuck box. And I got the one with the beautiful uh, silver, I don't know, if that, I don't think that's holographic, silver gilding. Here's the fool, isn't that sweet? He's, he's digging a new hole. His new adventure is this new hole. The magician. Aw. High priestess. So it's very simple, you know. It's not so much a Rider Waite clone, uh, Rider Waite Smith clone, RWS. It's just more simple, simplized. Like, we got the moon, we don't have the columns here. And she's not stepping on the moon, and this dog is not holding the Torah. Here's the empress. A French poodle makes a great empress on that pillow. Normally, it's the heart-shaped pillow or shield with the female symbol. And we got things growing around her, like in the... RWS for, you know, the birth of stuff, birth of nature, birth of babies, birth of ideas, of creativity. Here's the emperor, the ultimate father. He looks like a little uh, schnauzer. Let's see. Yes, miniature schnauzer. Oh, I hear a fan. The Taurus card, which the Taurus is my husband. And he's got the crown, you know, he's also the teacher, the Pope. We'll see what kind of dog that is. A Samoid. I don't think I've seen a Samoid. I can't look at all the, the cards or we'll never get through this deck. The lovers. Look how sweet it is with the little, the full moon behind them and a little heart between, pink heart between them. Values, choices, and love. The chariot. Okay, see, we have no horses or sphinxes or anything to show that he's uh, getting that under control. But we have a wheel. Maybe it's a tire. 
strength. This is a dog very much at peace, not comparing himself to the outside world, happy with who he is. So he has great inner strength. Makes him able to handle being in the world much better. The hermit, we got the lantern, most important. To have the soul figure with the lantern, you gotta spend time to be alone with your thoughts. Let your head clear out, not have everybody's opinions around you. Wheel of Fortune, good luck. He's in the good luck position. He's on top, not on the bottom, not going down, not going up. He's right there. Enjoy it. Oh, Justice, look, he's balancing the wheels of, or the scales of Justice on his nose. And he looks like he's giving you a high five. Now, we don't have the sword like we do in the normal w RWS. Let's see, 11. Malinois. I mean, I think I thought I knew about dog breeds a lot, but I obviously don't. The hanged man. Oh, he's laying on his back. That's a sweet dog. That's a very relaxed dog when you get them to do that. Because a lot will fight you about doing that. And it's about truth and justice and fairness. And he looks like he's got that. Death. Transformation. Look, he's got a skull there to show you the death. And even next to the um, skull looks like a scythe to give you some symbols of that card to say transformation. And we got the moon coming up here and light probably still from here. Temperance, balance, She's got two martini glasses. You know, it's about balance, moderation. You know, all the, the health things. I want to see what kind of dog that is. 14. Greyhound. I know what a greyhound is. The devil. We've got a pentacle there. That does not mean the devil. <laughs> and he's biting on some cloth or something. We've got bread there. I'm guessing this is for maybe greed, you know? Because it's about making yourself in bondage. So maybe he's liking to eat too much, even if it's not food. The tower up, evil and chaos. But look, at least if he falls from his little sandcastle uh, tower, he's not going to get hurt. He's taller than the tower. Star. That's healing, inspiration, and hope. Oh, I gotta take a look at the tower again. I wanted to see no crown, none of the regular symbols that we're used to, no people falling out. And I'm glad she doesn't put little doggies falling out because that'd break my heart. The moon, oh, this is sweet. This little dog howling at the moon. I love it when my dogs do that. They don't do it all the time, but every once in a while they do, and it's so cute. The moon. Husky. This may be a golden retriever, the sun. A golden retriever would be perfect for this. Golden retriever. Keep showing you the backs. Judgment. That looks like a firehouse dog. Dalmatian. Dalmatian. Woohoo! The world. Oh, that looks like a lassie dog. Shel Shel uh, yeah, Sheltie.
Where's the Ace of Cups? Did I accidentally get too many? Maybe, let me take a look, make sure that it's not the end. Because they, they are... Okay, where did they put the aces? Okay, here's an ace for swords. Where's my ace for this? Let's get towards the king again, see if we'll find the ace. There it is. Okay, it's just not ordered the way I'm used to. Ace, then two. Because ace is number one. So let's put, let's, where'd that ace go? We want it here, over here. Oh, it's a pink dog. Your heart is full and ready to start something. Okay, cups. Bloodhound. Though he's a kind of a reddish color, so pink, that would work. Oh, look at this. He's got two cups to start a new relationship, a new friendship, new business partnership. I think he, it's a new Finland. Yeah, new Finland. Those are huge dogs. Very sweet and very drooly like my Cocoa Puff. My Cocoa Puff is an American Bulldog. Three, this is your tribe. Celebrate, have fun. Sometimes it can also be trouble, but. Weimarammer. Oh, they're very pretty. They're, I've seen them in gray, short hair, and with these very light blue eyes. Oh, this looks like the hairless dog. Four of Cups. This is where you need to get grounded to move on. Chinese Crested. Five of Cups. So this is usually where there's three spilled cups and two cups upright and you're not supposed to cry over spilled milk. Whip it. I think that's what uh, the Simpsons dog is. Santa's a little helper. Greyhound. Oh, he's a greyhound? Oh, okay. My husband just told me he's a greyhound in the TV show. Six of cups. Nostalgia. Look, he's wearing a cup on his head. Which is really a dog bowl. A golden dog bowl. Isn't that sweet? Shih Tzu. Ah. Seven of Cups, all these choices to be made. Choose wisely. Spanish Water Dog. Eight of Cups. Sky Terrier, and the eight's about walking away because you've done everything you can for the relationship, friendship, business, partnership, whatever, but it can't be fixed. You can't, uh, Hang on, it'll destroy you. Nine, Akita. Oh, they're very pretty. This is contentment. It can also be gluttony. Ten. This is... Where? Shiba Inu, oh, I saw a movie that made me cry so much with the Shiba Inu. Hey, what was the Shiba Inu movie? Oh. Har Harachi? Harry? Hachiko. Hachiko. It, don't see it if you're a soft heart like me because you will just cry and cry hours afterwards too. Oh my God, I cried so much. That was such a good dog. But the wife did not keep him when her husband died. I understand 
she couldn't. Huh? No, it was a Shibu Inu. That I know. Get my court cards in order. This is the way I'm used to seeing them. Man, it's hard on me if you move them out of order to do an unboxing. So here's the page. He's starting off new. Here's Prince Charming. What kind of dog is this Prince Charming? He's, I can tell he's a short hair. Oh my God, I can't even pronounce that word. X-O-L-O. I T Z C U N T L E. Do you know that word? I don't speak Aztec. <laughs> my husband said he doesn't speak Aztec. Oh my God, I cannot tell you what that kind of breed dot that dog is. He's got his knight's uh, ar armor hat on. Wow, that is, someone please tell me, or give me, I'm going to look that up later. Wow. Okay, Queen is a Bedlington Terrier. Oh, she's very sweet looking. She's very emotionally grounded. She can handle anything. Here is the king. He kind of looks like a Jack Russell Terrier. And he's a smooth terrier fox. Smooth fox terrier. Okay, let's find my ace for our pentacles. There's my ace. Good doggy. Now he looks like a Rottweiler. He is a Rottweiler. Woohoo! Now he's all excited. This is a new beginning of a new business or new health regimen, something, you know, the ground, air, earth area. Two pentacles balancing, uh, balancing time, money, whatever. What is that? Dandy Dinmont Terrier. It's very cute. I think these, these cards are perfect. They're not sad or scary in any way. This would be a great deck for kids. Like, I really liked that True Black de uh, deck, but s some of the cards made me so sad. Because the animals were being hurt. Three of Pentacles. Partnership. Teamwork. Collaboration. And what are you, little furry blonde duck? Golden Doodle. So a Golden Retriever and a Poodle. This looks like a King Charles Spaniel. The four. It is a King Charles Spaniel. And four is about, it can be about hoarding, but what it should be about is balancing your money, saving, and planning what you need to spend and not doing anything else. Five uh, pentacles, poverty, isolation, and not opening your eyes. Pekingese, a cute little flat-nosed doggy. Like my smudge, he's a he's a puggle, and my gizmo was a a. <laughs> how could I forget what my gizmo was? His name breed. What was gizmo's name breed? Japanese chin. Japanese chin. He was so perfect. But oh, with this. There's always help. You just look, open your eyes. There's a church open, something there to help you. You're not alone. Six, this is about the sharing of resources. 
Now this is a great way to show it. I don't like it that the Rider Waite Smith shows them, which people would totally understand way back then. This is the person on their knees is the one needing help. And the one giving money is the one giving charity. But it doesn't show the balance of the relationship. That the person is happy that they are able to help. And these people are happy to be getting the help. And one day they'll be on the other side of being able to help someone. Eight of Pentacles. This is the mastery of your skill. This job you've been working. And it's working out great for you. You're saving your money, getting what you need. I know a lot of people like to think that as the apprenticeship, but its I don't see it that way. It's way too late in the card numbers for it to be that. Oh, did I just miscount? Oh, this was a seven of pentacles. I did miscount. This is the harvesting, planting your little seeds and waiting for them to grow. This is not instant gratification, everybody. You have to plant your seeds and you have to water them throughout the time it takes for them to grow. And then, you know, once you've uh, harvested your things, then you need to put them to bed for the winter, you know, protect them with hay or mulch, whatever it is. But it's like that even with money, your job. you got to save your money. So for the times that business is not so good, you still have what you need. Here is the eight of pentacles, the mastery of skills. The pentacles look like little puppies and she's feeding them. What is what is this doggy? A board toy? Nine of pentacles. This is the luxury card card. And this is a bulldog. Let's make sure. No, it's a Boston Terrier. But they look, they're little, 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 little dogs. You know, like a French bulldog. And they kind of look like a bulldog. Ten of Pentacles. King, oh, Cane Corso. Me is the Cane Corso. One of my friend's dogs. This is about family money, inheritance, retirement. It's also, you know, pentacles about earth things, you know, like health. You know, uh, family legacies, good or bad. Family legacy of health, good or bad, whatever. These are what this is about. It's pentacles. People think money first because they're round and they look like money. And it is the money too, but it's much more. King of Pentacles, he's like the bomb of business. He makes the money, he handles it. And it doesn't have to be a man. The king is the word they use for the ultimate level. Like here they put the night nigs. I like it to be the queen. So the, we're going to do the queen after the night. She can bring home the bacon and fry it up in a pan. She can handle it all. Now we'll go to the knight. He is the slowest knight in the whole tarot deck. All the other knights have a lot of action. But this is a guy, because he's an earth sign, who likes to think things through. He wants to know what's going to happen before he acts. So, so it's a good way to be. I am a Virgo, so heck, I'm a Virgo, but I'm not really, my personality is not that uh, stable like most Virgos. I'm a little out there. I act on a, <laughs> the seat of my pants, okay? I was a wild child. But I'm a lot calmer now. Page of Pentacles. This is like a teenager with his first job. What is his breed? Glenn. I have never heard that breed. He looks like a schoolboy. Well, he is a teenager. 
that would be the schoolboy hat. Here we got the swords. Give me my ace. I gotta put these in my order that I'm so used to because it really throws me. And you know, that's nothing. If that's all you can find wrong with the deck, you got a great deck. And this is a great deck. It is so sweet. Ace of Swords. See, this sword is up in the air with light surrounding it. And it's piercing the darkness and illuminating this light, showing you the way your mind is seeing a new way of thinking. New way of seeing things. Now, let's see. Okay, wands were swords. Oh, there, swords. Ace, Westy. Here's the indecision. Instead of a blindfold, he's just closing his eyes. These are very pretty swords, too. Everything in this deck is very pretty. Very gentle, and I love that. Doberman Pincher. See, this is a better way to handle the hearts, the three of swords, instead of piercing the dog's heart. I appreciate the heart in the air with the three swords in it. Don't uh, pierce any animals or even make it look like it's going to pierce them. Labradoodle. So a golden retriever and a poodle. And this is about hurt feelings. Okay, there's the four. I only saw the three above them. This is about rest and recuperation. It looks like a beagle. Basset hound. There's that basset hound in that TV show Coach that Luther always drags around in a child's red wagon. Five of Swords. Now this is conflict and tension. Very irritating card. Well, no, it's just, you know, it's conflict and tension. Who likes that? Let's see what this little sweet guy is. Have an ease. Oh, Six of Swords. I like the Six of Swords. This is getting away from troubled waters, go to smooth waters. This is like an abused person getting away from the abuser, going to a nice, safe place, and going to therapy and getting help. If you don't do the therapy part, then you're really missing out on this card. But you, because you need the therapy to heal your head. Seven of Swords. This is Deceit. So sweet with that little pink nose. Looks like my princess. She's a lab mix. Chocolate lab. So it is the same breed except chocolate instead of black. That looks like a Shih Tzu. Not Shih Tzu, a Yorkshire Terrier. That's what this one looks like. Eight of Swords. Let's see what it says. Yorkshire Terrier. Now, Eight of Swords is, you know, that woman being uh, surrounded. See, they got the sword surrounding this little Yorkie. But you're not really trapped. You can walk right straight through. And usually they have uh, some loose scar binding, or but you can take that off. What's really bound here is your mind. So you need to relax and think things through. And then get yourself out. Nine of Swords, Nightmares, and Depression, and Anxiety. Bull Terrier, oh, that's the... Uh, beard dog, uh, Budweiser, Spuds McKenzie, Ten of Swords, Betrayal. This is a 
whatever kind of relationship is, it is over. This person has betrayed you. You can never trust them ever. You need to move on. And it's the 10. There is no going back with this person, whether it's business, friendship, love, you're done with them. Page of Swords. And Arendelle Terrier. Going off to maybe he's in high school, late grades, or going off to university. I don't know. But it's a new way of thinking, just like the ace, the knight. He's usually, you usually have a lot of air going through his hair. This knight of swords, and he's on a horse. He's got his knight uh, metal hat on with a feather sticking out of it. But this is a hasty action card. Queen of swords. Now she's also, she can be a cold bitch, but she's a quick thinker, clear-minded she has some great characteristics. And she's very loving and warm to those she loves. So she's not a cold bitch. She just appears that way sometimes. Chow, chow. Oh, they're big, fluffy dogs. Scottish Terrier. Where, he must be on the back of my queen. Where would my king go? Okay, I'm missing my king. Maybe he still show up. Two of, let's get my ace here. Okay, new inspiration. I just gotta know. Finish spits. Two of wands, making a plan. Look, he's got one underneath, one above. He's like, I know I need to make some business plans or something, but I wanna play with these sticks. Here's my king of swords. Woohoo! <laughs> he really looks like a bunny. Oh my God. What is he? Because he looks like a bunny. Scottish Terrier. Oh, he's the towel looking dog. The three of wands. Sharpe. Oh, I think he's the Rasta-looking dog, you know, with all those uh, dreads. Four of wands. This is celebration, happiness, engagement, marriage, home. Four. Kimono door. Five of wands. Now this is competition. which, And you know, whoever's... Uh, got the natural abilities and has practiced the most, is going to win. There's always someone better than you, but you always got to do your best. Border Collie, Lassie. Six of Wands, Victor. See, now here you, you really are aware of the missing symbols. The... Wand being held up with the laurel leaf crown on it and the horse decorated with materials, make it all fancy. All of the surrounding people going, yay. Seven of wands, you are drawing your wand in the ground to make, this is my boundaries. You are not gonna usurp me. It's a cute little dog, he is. 
Maltese, oh my gosh, they're little cotton balls. Eight of Wands, a vacation. A quick answer coming your way. What is this pink dog? Oh my God, base nut, Nui. English Springer Spaniel. And he is the Nine of Wands, still standing. Ten of Wands, you're working way too hard. You need to put some down or ask for some help. Irish Wolfhound. Page of Wands. English Setter. I had an Irish Setter once with red hair like mine. Knight of Wands. Lusty guy. He's American English. Coonhound. Queen of Wands, the social butterfly. Alaskan Malamute. And you're always used to the, seeing the Queen of Wands with her black cat. King of Wands. King King Corso. That's like Mia. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, opening of the Good Dog Tarot Deck by Melon Square Studios. It is so pretty, so sweet. So, and you can still get it at Etsy. So give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and please everybody still be uh, being safe, wear your mask, be healthy, keep your mind active if you're having to quarantine and you know, keep your distance because want to be healthy. And take care, everybody. Oh, and subscribe to my channel. And take care, everybody. Bye.